Hi everyone, this is Megan with the Bumblebee Studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I want to show you something really fun that I'm making with this Seven Gypsies printer's tray. I'm going to make a really fun home decor project with this and I have some paper from the Urban, Urban Rhapsody K & Company designer pack. I have some Prima Pebbles that I actually got on sale really cheap and I have some Tim Holtz word sticks and tokens and a few different um, items today that I'm going to be using to make this fun home decor wall, wall project and I'm making it so that this is going to be very interchangeable. I'm making this for this current summer, um, but I'm not gonna use like Mod Podge or anything like that to make a permanent hold. I'm just going to use some, I'm actually gonna use some temporary um, adhesive on my photos and on everything so that I can remove out what I don't want and be able to hang it again. But um, it's gonna be really cute. So um, I wanna get started. I have some papers picked out. I really like these four different patterns here. And the size of each one of these squares is um, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I can just go ahead and easily cut my paper down um, to the size that I need. So I'm gonna use a couple different um, patterns and whatnot here. And we'll just start right here. I have my Provocraft paper trimmer. I'm gonna make sure I save all my scraps. All right, so now I have a whole bunch of paper scraps, and I just really liked these colors for the summer, and they also went really cute with some of the background colors of the pictures that I selected. Um, my daughter's wearing pink in a lot of these pictures, and these are all from our a couple beach trips that we took last summer. So I just think it'll be really fun. I wanna cut down some of my pictures as well. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. So now I have a whole bunch of my pictures cut out and I have all these paper scraps cut out. So we're just gonna lay it out how we kind of like it, what we kind of think we want to be seen on the wall. And I'm just playing right now. I'm gonna just place everything in here and kind of see how it ends up. Some of these are a little too big still so I'm gonna need to cut them down. really like that striped. Hmm. And then this will hang on my wall in my office just for the for the summer months. And then I have some cute ideas for fall, putting some fall decorations and fall pictures and all kinds of fun different things in here. So I'll have to do a video on that later, but I hope you enjoy this. And get some ideas. You can purchase these online, these photo trays. And they make really great gifts too. You can do them up for a wedding, um, you know, for a wedding present, or you can do a baby shower gift and put um, little slots that would be, you know, since there's 12 slots, you could do one for each month um, as the baby grows type of thing, which would be really cute. In my opinion, they have them in different colors and I was thinking about getting a white one for Genevieve's room. Okay, so now that I have everything laid out kind of the way I think I want it, I'm going to grab some, this is actual Tombow um, removable adhesive. Uh, it's a, just a mono adhesive. And I'm just really simply going to glue each one of these pieces down with a little bit of this. It's really, really easy. And um, it's not gonna require, you know, a super, crazy hold, but like I said, I only really want this for a couple months. I don't really want this to maintain for ever. So I think this will work great. So I'm just gonna start placing my pieces um, that I have selected where I want right in the tray. So that's really, really simple. And then I have a few other little accents and embellishments that I'm thinking I'm want wanting to add on here such as this little um, token from Tim Holtz. And this one says moments. And this one says play. And um, they have, since they're little tokens, they have little holes that I could actually tie um, something in around them and then hang them. But I'm actually thinking I'm just going to use some glue dots and glue them right on the top here. 
um, and see how that holds. I'm giving this a try, so I'll have to keep you posted if it actually um, maintains for me, but I think it'll be really cute. All right, and then I have some of these pebbles from Prima, which like I said, I got them on clearance and I liked the colors. So I figure why not give them a try for on something like this. They look really cool. These are some stickers I have from Kane Company and I'm gonna use these as well. Um, I don't remember the actual name of the pack that they are from, but there's just really cute sentiments and words on here. Um, that I just think are adorable and go along with the theme really well. So I'm gonna use them in the little bathing suit from this one. This is from um, the Can Company Brenda Walton collection. And I just think the bathing suit is so cute. All right, so for final little touches, I'm gonna to use some of this Mud Puddles um, paste. It's a sandy, gluey, yucky kind of fun paste. And I'm just gonna grab a little um, popsicle stick. And it's very, very sandy, and it's, but it's got adhesive already in it, and once it dries, it just looks like sand right on your layouts or your cards or whatever you wanna use. And I'm gonna use it right on the papers of a few of these fun things. So I am very, very happy with how this turned out. Just very simple, very easy to do. Just has some fun little sentiments and words and, um, you know, ready for the summer season and ready to be changed out um, very easily just by pulling out the pictures very carefully so you don't rip them um, when it comes time for fall. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you can, again, always follow me at AboveRubyStudio.com and thank you for watching me today at CustomCrops.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye.